We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I've got the great pleasure of being with Mr. Parukh Van Persie, who is Director General of the National Communications Authority of Ghana. Mr. Van Persie, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I'd like to start off by talking about the conference here that we're at. The World Telecommunication Development Conference, once every four years, is a very important conference. We're now in the second week of it, pretty much coming up towards the end. What has you know, stood out from this conference for you? Well, thanks very much, Max. Uh, surely this has been a very good conference, and uh, I must begin by thanking the host country, the United Arab Emirates, for putting together such a wonderful conference. The facilities put at our disposal are excellent. And then also, of course, the ITU uh, for all the organizational work that's gone into it. Yeah, from my end, from where I sit, um, this is a very first for me, uh, being only three years in the job. So this is my very first WTDC. And I must say that, of course, the preparatory work leading up to it um, is all what is culminated in the success that we're having today. I had the privilege of chairing the Africa, Africa meeting, um, or the RPM, which uh, with the final being in Lusaka. And that obviously uh, prepared uh, Africa quite uh, readily for uh, making the contributions that we have made at this uh, uh, event. Um, so far, the highlights, uh, of course, we're all seeing the trend of telecommunications uh, in the world today, uh, where we're headed. Um, broadband, obviously, the, the theme for this conference is very apt, and that broadband is the, is the next agenda. Uh, in my country, we've um, over, uh, reached our, our band in uh, voice uh, penetration. Uh, we probably around 110% of voice penetration now. Our ch next challenge is data and how we grow data. We have done remarkably well over the last couple of years. Um, about five years ago, you could talk uh, data penetration of below uh, 5%. Today, we're talking something in the region of 25, 30%. And that's been enabled by the handheld devices, the, the advent of 3G. Uh, so broadband growth in, in Ghana is, is very promising. In the last couple of years or so, we have licensed three operators in BWA, Broadband Wireless Access, to provide 4G services. And we think that that's all going to help grow the broadband industry in Ghana um, tremendously. So there's some great opportunities there in Ghana. What are the particular challenges that you're facing? Well, the challenges continue to be infrastructure, power, and that's what most of the operators uh, complain about. But thankfully, the government is doing, is doing quite a bit about that. And we expect to have stable power in, in the coming years. Uh, There's also the cost of uh, infrastructure. And uh, of course, being where we are now and being late entrance into it, um, we're tending to depend more on wireless than uh, uh, fiber. Of course, because the reach and the, the, the timeliness of it is better than getting through the issues of our fiber. So those, those remain some challenges, but they're challenges that are not uh, unsurmountable. We, we're doing well, and with the cooperation of the operators to, to, to get beyond all of these difficulties. And we think that the, so far, we, we are so good. And what do you hope will come from this conference? Well, obviously, this will set the agenda for the next four years. And um, Africa intends to play within that scope very forcefully. And uh, like I have identified, our challenge mainly is in the area of data now. And uh, we expect that we can grow that uh, successfully over the years. My own country has done uh, its fair bit in that regard. And uh, in the last couple of years, we've seen growth rates which, which are quite impressive. And uh, obviously, the enabling environment that has been provided by government in, in providing infrastructure in collaboration with the operators, uh, we've done the uh, submarine fiber links around the country, and all of that we expect to, to push a broadband delivery further. We've also uh, obviously put some assistance from that to our neighboring landlord countries who don't have submarine cable landings, and we're transmitting um, fiber all the way to the border so they can also tap into that. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Van Persie, for being with us today. And I wish you all the very best in terms of connectivity for Ghana and for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching too.